What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 33 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I have for you guys the Rock Cup semi-final. We are taking on Angels FC, a team who, well as you can see at the league table, they're struggling. They got promoted last year through the promotional playoffs into the Premier Division. This year they are currently on 20 points after 25 games. Somehow they've got this far and they are going to be the last opposition we have to face before a potential... Uh, Rock Cup final against Lincoln Redimps. Redimps, of course, the Segunda Division side, who we kind of, I guess, destined for the drop a little bit. We we stole some of their better players. They got relegated. They look like they are going to be promoted this year, and if they were to beat us in the final, well, they would be playing in Europe next year, which would be a little bit mad for them. So we've got to do our utmost, really, to beat them, but it starts today playing against Angels. Last episode, if you missed it, it was a game against Manchester 62 FC. We won 6-1, a really, really good result. Since then, a few games to tell you guys about. Worth noting, we have now won the Premier Division. Our budgets for the season have been reset. We have a £1 million transfer budget, which we won't be spending, and our wage budget sits uh, at £7,661 a week, of which we are spending uh, about half of that. So anyway, let's get into the fixtures first and foremost. As I said, the Premier Division was wrapped up, but there were some results here. The first of which was a good result against Gibraltar Lions. Uh, we were actually winning 4-0 after 48 minutes here. We conceded late on, but the game was already won by that point. Great way to start this run of results. We then won in the Rock Cup semi-final, which is how we've got here. And this was against Lynx. Lee Robson getting a hat-trick. Fantastic for him, the right midfielder. He's actually hit a really good run of form lately in cup competitions. Playing absolutely superbly for us. Five goals, nine assists in the league. A little bit disappointing compared to last year, but still a very, very impressive return for him. And to get a hat-trick in this cup game, I mean, it's going to do his confidence the world of good. Anyway, the next game was against Angels, the team we played today. It was in the Premier Division. Jack Peachman Brace won us the game. And then there were just three games left to tell you guys about. Two wins, the first of which a pretty decent one against St. Joseph's FC. Again, Peachman with a brace, John Murray getting a goal. Uh, we are still without Connolly at the moment. He is still injured. It's a, a long time that he's been out now. It feels like forever. He's out for another three to six weeks. So it looks like he's probably going to miss the kind of cup finals we'll have at the end of next month, which is a real shame. If he could be back for them, that would be amazing. But obviously, this injury that he's had has really, really kind of hurt him and he has declined as a footballer as a result of it. If we just look here, I noticed that his uh, acceleration had dropped off. It was sitting at 16 for ages because it was at 15.6, which gets rounded up. It now sits at 15.2, so that is a 0.4 decrease there. And uh, yeah, you can see here it's the same across the board, really. He's dropped off 0.4, gone down. His agility dropping by 0.6. That's just the effect, I guess, of a long-term injury here. It's painful to see. I mean, strength has gone down by 0.8. That is a crazy drop in about a month's period. And, well, hopefully he can come back stronger, but that injury is certainly going to hurt him. Anyway, two more games to tell you guys about. We, rather disappointingly, over only beat the bottom of the league side, Hound Dogs, 2-1. But we got the win in the end. And worth noting that Gary Tano getting a Man of the Match award here. And he's been playing very, very well, the youngster. Two Man of the Matches in six games. One assist. But he's just been absolutely superb for us. An 8.23 average rating for him. He is the youngest player ever to play for us. And he also got a goal. Um, that goal, I believe, came... It was a header. I think it came against St. Joseph's. No, it didn't. Was it Angels? Was it Lynx? It was Lynx he got. A 9.1 rating and a goal. I would also like to apologise. It's literally just started raining outside my house as I've sat to record. So if you can hear the rain, I'm sorry. Hopefully it's relaxing. You know, the I sometimes go on... Maybe this is just me, but sometimes I go on YouTube and I'll just listen to soundtracks of rain. Unfortunately, when it lands on my window cell, it, it sounds horrible. It sounds like it's hailing outside rather than rain. Anyway, one more game to tell you guys about. It's a 1-1 draw against Britannia. Chris Whitehouse getting a goal for them. Uh, O'Connor getting a goal for us. O'Connor has been doing superb. It got called up to the Gibraltar national team. That was really, really pleasing to see. Got his first cap. Absolutely delighted for him, the youngster. And uh, he's had a fantastic year. 12 goals, 8 assists, 7 Man of the Matches in 23 games. Cannot argue with that one little bit. And that is the most amount of Man of the Matches this season. You can see the other top performers here. Morgan and Gilbert, our fullbacks. 27 assists between them. That is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, O'Connor as well with the top average rating. Connolly up there as well. Unfortunately, of course, he's been injured. And Peachman leading the way in the goal scoring charts. I love the fact as well, Ben Connolly... 
You know, he's third in the top goal scoring chance. He's not played since the end of January, there or thereabouts. That is an incredible return for him. But anyway, let's get into today's game. There isn't too much to tell you guys going about because, well, we've had Regen Day, we've had the transfer windows, we've won the league. Now we just have to win the Rock Cup again. I should point out, last season I went on about how the Rock Cup was going to be the first time we'd ever won it. I forgot we won it in the second season of this save. The reason I forgot is because I finished it up the second season just before I went away for, for Christmas. And instead of kind of recapping myself my own save, I just completely forgot that we even won the Rock Cup in the second year. So this is us going for our third time of winning it. We are taking on Angels today. This is the team we're going to go with. O'Connor still not comfortable playing left midfielder. One day he will become accomplished at that role and maybe even natural, but today is not that day. This is the team we're going to go with. We're a little bit short on the striker front, but we kind of knew that was going to be a problem. It's probably worth me also sorting out my bench because in this competition we're a little bit more limited in terms of the players we can have. And that is, uh, of course, due to the uh, five-man bench for the Rock Cup. So we'll sort this out. Uh, Tom Elliott, I've promoted to the first team. He made one appearance. This guy looks like he could be insane. He is actually being tutored at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't say, see his determination increase, but it has increased. I believe it was at seven at the start of the month. Uh, he has joined us, uh, obviously, as a... Um, what do you call it, as a youngster, and he's being tutored by Anthony Hernandez, who has passed on his 10 determination to him in a month. That is a really, really good kind of tutoring start. I, I want to give this guy some football. I kind of like him. I, I, I think he's got some potential. The, the kind of potential ability for him is four-star gold, five-star black. Shame he's injury-prone and shame about his consistency, but he's a young player, and he's a good defensive midfielder as well, which we don't really have any supernatural defensive midfielders. I mean, you look at our go-to defensive midfielder, it's Andy Sutton here, and he has good tackling and he has okay marking, but he's not actually, you know, that rock in the midfield, he's very much a player who we've converted and forced to play there. But anyway, let's submit our team for this game. Uh, one injury to tell you guys about that I've just remembered, having seen that fitness prompt, um, Felix is out injured again, out for six to two weeks, uh, sorry, six days to two weeks, with a sports hernia, or in fact, no, it's a regular hernia this time, but this is becoming an ongoing problem. This guy, I mean, it doesn't say he's injury prone, but these hernia injuries he's getting are pretty bad, and I'm hoping that we're not going to see too many more of them. But anyway, let's move into today's game. We are, of course, playing in the Rock Cup semi-final. Um, just going to kind of encourage the players. We're favourites to win this. We're playing a team second from bottom in the division. We want to try and line ourselves up a cup final against Lincoln Redims. We want a chance... Uh, to win this competition for the third time in the club's history in the second year in a row. Of course, last year, we won the Pepe Reyes Cup, we won the League Cup, we won the Gibraltarian Senior League Cup, and we also won the Rock Cup. This year, we've already got two out of those four kind of sealed and uh, pegged down. I want to get more, though. I want us to, to win the Senior League Cup again. I want us to win the Rock Cup again. But we need to get to the final of the Rock Cup first. Borking goal, you know, without Felix, we recall our kind of former first choice goalkeeper and I'm hoping he can do a good job for us here but we'll see how we get on anyway in, inside uh, Gary Tano out wide with O'Connor nice play here Sutton Fred through Peachman Peachman to Murray Murray scores don't think he's offside he is not that is his 13th goal of the season John Murray gets a goal there and that is really 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 good I mean John Murray, a player who we brought into the side in January. A bit of a risk, a bit of a gamble. I needed another striker. He was a 16-year-old who'd been called up for the Gibraltarian national team, having been playing for Red Imps. And I'm just really happy that he's hit the ground running here, that he's naturally developed into this super good player. And, well, hopefully it can continue because he definitely deserves it. And that looked offside. That really did look offside in 3D. Now, uh, in FM, you do get offside decisions missed and incorrect ones given. I think we've just got a little bit of fortune there. But anyway, the rain continues to pour outside my house. We're going to plod on, though, as are our team at the moment. Looking at the stats right now, Angels having as much possession as us. Actually, they're edging it. And having as many shots as us, which is a little bit concerning. We are still 1-0 up at half-time. It's not been a, ch a half of many chances. But I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy with what I've just seen. I'm, I'm not. We should be hammering this team. We should be doing significantly better than we are now. And I'm looking for us to book our ideas up in this second half. There's 40 minutes left of this match. It's only 1-0. I want us to score some more. I want us to win this game more convincingly. Of course, I'd take the win. 
I, I wouldn't complain about 1-0. Actually, no, that's a lie. I would complain about 1-0 because we should be winning more. But at the same time, the fact we're getting to the final is the important element. And we might have another chance here. Murray, Robson, he probably should have scored. Woods gets back, though, to make a really good save to keep Angels in it. And that was the second clear-cut chance of the game. The first one resulted in a goal. That one there certainly has not. A disappointing finish in the end. Andy Sutton struggling a little bit. I think we're going to bring in Reyes to play. Unfortunately for us, Reyes, who for a long time was our first choice right back until we signed Peter Morgan, is going to be leaving us at the end of the year. I'm a little bit gutted to see Reyes go. I've been trying to, you know, get his happiness up, give him a little bit of football here and there. But he wants to play regular first-team football. We simply put can't offer him that. When our full-backs in Gilbert and Morgan are getting well, 27 assists between them, it's difficult to drop either one of them in favour of another player. And unfortunately, Reyes is just kind of a casualty of the fact that, um, well, Morgan is in just such good form, the number two, our right back. Anyway, as I say that, Morgan commits a foul. If this is a red card, this is going to be the most perfectly timed thing I've ever seen in a live com. It's not. It's a yellow, but we are now going to have a set piece to defend, and it's going to be Jeffries. He passes it to Pino Moreno, and Gilbert picks it up there. Now can we counter Peachman? Two men back for Angels. Peachman threads through Gary Tano, and he scores. The Spaniard, his second senior goal ever, his second of the season. Take a bow, Gary Tano, 15 years old. Remember the name. He could be a very, very good player for us. Threaded through there absolutely delightfully, and, well, he scores it. He bursts through the advanced playmaker. He gets a goal. He's been performing very well this game. I noticed his rating was significantly higher than a lot of other players. Anyway, let's make another sub here. Guerrero is really struggling for fitness, which is a shame. As is Adam Roberts, actually. This is, I believe, our second game in three days. So perhaps that's contributing, you know, just a few packed fixtures. Thankfully, however, it does look like we are going to get through this game without any injuries unless they're going to come very late on. And... Well, if we can score another in convincing in a convincing manner as the ball is ping around the box. Robson whips it in. Bonavia to Reyes. Out wide to Glenn Gilbert. Can he whip in a ball? He can. Peachman's there. Blocked by their number six. That was a fantastic block. That was a chance to make it 3-0 and put the game beyond doubt and kind of perhaps put the score line to something that I'd kind of deem acceptable. I think 2-0 is still a little bit of a underperformance by our team standards. But there is still time here, although it is ticking away. And they are on the attack. They have the ball in our area. Gilbert, nice tackle. Now can we counter? O'Connor tries to switch it out wide to Morgan at right back. But isn't going to be able to pick out his man. And then Gilbert gets fouled. There's still a chance here. If we get free, I'll be pretty happy, if I'm honest. That would be kind of acceptable. That would be what I wanted from the game. That looked offside, Murray. Keeper collects the ball. Woods, he's made a few saves for them today for Angels. Looking at the stats, we've definitely turned it up in the second half. We've definitely upped the tempo. We've definitely um, stepped up our game as a side. Angels are going to edge possession, although with the system that we use the 4-4-2, we don't always have possession. We don't need it. We just use the possession that we have well, and we're going to have the possession here. Can we use it well this time? Robson, Gary Tano, lovely ball out wide to Morgan. Whips it, back post, Peachman's there, great goal. 3-0, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. -y. That is his 39th of the season. He's going to hit the 40 mark. Worth noting, Peachman has scored the record number of goals in the club's history in a singular year, surpassing Ben Connolly's total last season of 37. And you'd have to say that was a very good finish there, a header at the back post. And that is going to be all she wrote for this game. We are going to be going to the Rock Cup final. We are going to be taking on Lincoln Red Imps. Going to be interesting for a few of our players who are former Red Imps players to play against their uh, senior club and their uh, kind of former club. And I'm hoping we can get a result. I really am. That is a great way to cap off the season, to get to another final. We are on uh, on the road for kind of a, a double quadruple, which would really assert our dominance here in Gibraltar. I mean, looking at the stats, we've lost one game this year uh, domestically. That was 2-0, and that was in November. And we're now in April, and we're about to go into May, and we've not lost all year. It's been an amazing run by the club, and it's going to be interesting to see if, for the kind of remainder of the season, we can cap things off by taking on College Europa and Lincoln Redimps, two of the kind of old guard, I guess you'd say, of um, Gibraltarian football. Two teams who... Well, when we first started, were the two dominant teams in the division. It'll be interesting to see how we get on against them, if any of them can cause an upset against us. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up everything from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.